Despite being injured or losing an important part of the body, these animals still prove their bravery, still trying to persevere, living the life the creator has given them. So what about elephants? If an elephant loses its trunk, how will the elephant survive in a harsh and wild world with countless enemies who are ready to wait for the opportunity to attack? Let's find out in this video. Of all of the extraordinary features that the elephant displays, perhaps the most unique and astonishing is the most incredible feat of evolutionary engineering, the trunk. It can be said that the trunk is the trump of the elephant. A nose, an arm, a hand, a voice, a straw, a hose, and so much more. The elephant's trunk is surely the most versatile and useful appendage on the planet. The trunk is a fusion of an elephant's upper lip and nose and was formed over millions of years of evolution. An elephant uses its trunk for drinking water, smelling out food sources, and communicating with other elephants. It also uses its trunk to smell where danger arises. They may also use their trunks as a weapon by swinging it forward and striking an enemy with the end of it. An elephant's trunk is also used as a snorkel when elephants go underwater. Images and video show an elephant calf with a very short stump where its versatile appendage used to be. Perhaps it had to go through the most painful experience of its life. But how can it survive when losing its trunk? Because there is not an animal that does not feel pain when injured, especially when the elephant loses its most vital appendage. This trauma causes them both physical and emotional damages. No one knows for sure what lopped off the trunk, but the loss is not one to take lightly. Maybe the calf lost its trunk because maybe it had fallen victim to one of the many predators present in the harsh wild. After all, elephants grow up surrounded by hungry mouths. First, there is the lion. As a symbol of strength, the lion is considered the king of the jungle, with a roar that frightens many species around. In the grasslands of Africa, lions are considered at the top of the food chain. With their superior strength and group hunting habits, they are enough to kill many other large animals for food, including elephants. It can be said that the lion is the first animal in the list of predators that could have taken a trunk off the elephant. The hyena is also a formidable predator that can do such a thing to an elephant's trunk. Hyenas, with the strength of a clan and a strong bite force, often stalk and wait for the opportunity to steal another predator's prey. When unable to steal any prey, they often hunt and attack on their own, and the elephant calves are a delicious meal for them. And then there is the crocodile, the character often attacking the trunk when elephants go to drink water. Crocodiles are named the most terrible killing machine in the natural world. Crocodiles have been the fear of animals living in the water and areas nearby with an unbeatable bite force. Crocodiles often grab the elephant's trunk to pull the elephant into the water for the kill. If an elephant can escape, it is also vulnerable to injuries of its trunk. Sometimes, the loss is inevitable. Poaching is also one of the main causes of devastating injuries like this, as inquisitive animals or those just moving through their environment wind up in the poacher's snares. 
So, can an elephant survive without its trunk? There are two opposing opinions to this question. The answer of yes, the elephant can survive without its trunk, given by half of the people surveyed. So how would an elephant survive should its trunk be amputated? Of course, life must go on for an elephant without a trunk. It still has to work hard to survive over the rest of its life, though it will surely be a difficult obstacle to overcome. While the calf's lack of a trunk is the worst thing of its life, there are other elephants that have shown a remarkable adaptability towards dealing with similar injuries. This includes only eating leaves found at head level and kneeling down to drink. There are also credible reports of adult elephants with trunk injuries receiving food from other adults. And in one other case, an elephant is also said to have used its own trunk to squirt water into a maimed herd member's mouth. The bottom line is, we shouldn't assume that the calf isn't going to make it. It will obviously have a harder time than other elephants, but it may be helped by members of its family. Elephants typically have very strong social bonds within and among family groups. They are very united and ready to help each other. When threatened by predators, they often gather together, pull calves and the injured or aged into the center, while the adults will stay outside and prevent attack from those predators. So despite losing its trunk, the elephant can also defend itself against predators with help from members of its herd. It is the opinion of the rest on this question that no, an elephant can survive without its trunk in only safaris or zoos under close care. But the chance of survival of an elephant in the wild without its trunk is very small. An adult elephant needs to eat between 200 and 600 pounds of food per day and drink up to 50 gallons of water. Without a trunk, it would be near impossible for the animal to consume that much food or water, even with help. If there is not enough food and drink, the elephant may well face a slow death from starvation or thirst. The trunk is also important for social interactions. Elephants use their trunks to hug, caress, and comfort other elephants. Without the tools to form bonds with fellow elephants, it may be ousted from its herd and left vulnerable to predators. No animal is born guaranteed to have a perfect and complete life, because the wild nature is increasingly harsh and cruel. All animals, even the strongest of the predators in the African savanna, have to face and accept these challenges. And the challenge of surviving without a trunk is something that the elephant is facing and finding answers for itself, how to continue to live. We cannot interfere with nature. We can only hope that these animals will overcome all and become stronger and live on. This Wild Thing video has come to an end. Please comment your opinion about the video and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and motivate us to make more interesting videos. Thank you.